About three weeks after I had been admitted, I found my mother sitting in a chair at the foot of my bed. Mom, I said, and she said, hi, Lucy, hi, Whistle. I had not seen my mother in years. My mother had never visited me in New York. In fact, my mother had never been on a plane before. I kept staring at her. I could not figure out why she looked so different. Hi, Whistle. That was her pet name for me. And when I saw her, when I heard that name, which I had not heard in ages, it was as though all my tension had been a solid thing, and now it dissolved. My mother stayed with me for five nights. I never saw her sleep but in that chair. We talked intermittently. I don't think either of us quite knew what to do. She asked a few questions about my girls, and I answered with my face becoming hot. Oh, they're amazing, I said. They're just amazing. About my husband, my mother asked nothing. Even though he told me this on the telephone, he was the one who had called her and asked her to come be with me, who had paid her airfare, who had offered to pick her up at the airport. My mother insisted she would take a taxi. <laughs> my mother also said nothing about my father. And so I said nothing about him either. I kept wishing she would say, your father hopes you get better, but she did not. And I imagine the terror that must have visited her when she stepped off the airplane. It would have frightened her so much to try and find a taxi alone. And I was so glad she was there. I told her this. She smiled quickly, then looked out of the window. And when my husband rang me on the beige telephone near my bed, my mother would quietly rise from her chair and leave the room. 